Hi everybody, it's Carolyn and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a mini, mini album that I was asked to make for a, um, a special uh, young lady's birthday. Um, so anyway, I want to share this with you. It was made with the Shelly Goggles. Um, she has JNS Hobbies and Crafts. I'm trying to get the paper pad. Um, which I will link her store below. And so she designed this paper and it's called Tranquil Gardens and it is just gorgeous. And so the young lady I'm making this for, her favorite color is purple. So it has a lot of, you know, light mauve, purpley, lavender type colors to it. So anyway, the outside of the album looks like this. Simple moments make the best memories. And then the side, put a little thing there, it says picture perfect. And then the back is like this. And the closure is like this. I made it big enough where she could put plenty of pictures in it and still be able to close it. But when it's closed now, it'll, it may flop open, you know, because it doesn't have enough in it. So that's the front and all. So you open it up. First page is this vintage lady sitting out in the park reading, which I thought was so pretty. You have a big place here at the top. You know, you could put a five by seven. Here's a pocket. I put plenty of, um, you know, little tags, and mats, journaling cards, you know, where she could tuck everything in here. Okay, and that's magnetized. This one, this paper just was so easy to work with. It was great. So this, I just cut out the center part here, and then I made it where you can pull this up so she can mat a picture onto this, slide it back in, and there you go. You've got your, your frame. For it and I put some acetate over top of that so you know the picture was protected as well so let's see how did I do this one okay it's magnetized here you open it up put a picture here picture here and then oh it opens up again <laughs> after I've made them sometimes I forget what flips and folds I have and then I put beautiful right here and I've got some photo mats here for her. So that just folds that way and that way. Here I did a belly band and I put a little bit of bling on it. <laughs> um, and then I just did this little booklet that I just left it plain so she could put pictures in it and it would border out, you know, with the purple. So that one there. This one, Memories That Last a Lifetime, again, pretty, pretty. So that just flips up. You have a place here for a photo, 4 by 6 folds down. What I did right here was there's a hat right behind it, and I, I cut this hat out of another piece of paper. I backed it, I fussy cut it out, backed it, and cut it out again and just put it over top of it and made it where you could tuck things in behind. So I put these three in there for her. And then you have a place down here again for, you know, a couple of photos or a large one. This magnet there. Okay, this one, it opens. Okay, I wanted to make sure. You got a place here. You could you know, do the same thing. I almost did another one like that, and I thought, well, I hated to repeat too much. So, this opens up like this. Over here it says, in the garden you will find love, laughter, and precious memories. And I put some little tags here. I'm going to add some ribbon on those as well. And then I made a large pocket here. And with some more places for photos. She can stick some other ones down in there. On this side, I left another large pocket with more mats. And in this one, 
I left it where she, when she gives it to her granddaughter that she could add an, a little letter from her and her husband just tucked away in this little pocket here. So it's kind of like a little secret pocket. So I put this here so it would show her exactly where that little pocket is. And then, of course, she'll have a place there. She can add some other little notes, pictures, whatever she would like in there. Then we have this page, which just opens up like that. And then this one I did as a pocket on the front. And it has a couple places here. Well, I'll put several tags in it. Journaling cards, mats. You can tuck down in there. Okay, this one opens up like this. And then it opens like this. So you have plenty of places again. I want to make sure she had plenty of places for photos. And, you know. Any mats. I did the double pocket here. Put a little bling on it. Put a lot of little tags. And, you know, she can put a photo over top of this or put it on the back and just journal right here at the bottom or onto one of these. Or you can just stick the photos right in there. It's whichever, whatever you want to do. So here's two more. This page I just left alone, other than I put this little metal, and I hope you can see it, it's a little metal butterfly, and I had these little brads that were this lavender color, and I stuck them through, and it just looks so cute, so I put that on there, just right on the roses, so here's that one, okay, this one I just put a side pocket, and you know, left room for photos there. And with this one, I did the same thing. I just, I left it open. There's nothing inside. This is just an image that I, you know, put, backed it on. And so she could leave it like that. Or she can tuck a photo in there. Put some acetate on that as well. So it would, you know, protect a photo. So there's that. And a little journal cards. And then I wanted to have plenty of places for photos, um, so I did do a waterfall on this one, and I just tied it with this really pretty uh, lavender ribbon. And so with this one, it just folds up like this for all your photos. And then the lovely lady down here at the bottom, you could put a photo over that as well. So you have a place for two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 photos on that one, and those are 4 by 6. So, then she really likes, um, it, it's a teenage young lady, and so she really likes sports. She has her um, brothers that are in sports as well, and so I started to put that in here and kind of make it pop out in different places. Places, but this was so, oh, it was just so beautiful. It was just cohesive and just, I don't know. So what I did was I made a separate little book for her. And I just, I have the bind it all, so I just did a little spiral bound little book for her. And so she loves fairies, so I colored up a fairy. And I put some little um, flowers. These are little prima flowers put that on there and use the same paper from the uh, paper collection on the front and the back. And then again since her favorite color is purple I just added different color purple pages throughout. So I put one here a little because it's you know for birthday but I added some extra little stickers here that she can put in there if she wants to. Then it's just every pocket, front and back, there, I mean every page has a pocket that she can tuck photos in. Um, there's for volleyball, and here for volleyball. Hockey, and I had some extra little pieces there, I just left them in there. 
for hockey here and back here and just pockets throughout so this one gave her a separate little album to put whatever she wanted to in this one you know that she might want to keep the sports ones separate she may just want to put them in here I mean it's like I said it's all up to her but I wanted to give her that option as well so I do like these doing these little spiral bound books as well so I'm hoping she's going to love it. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.